One week until Election Day on Miami Beach, and one candidate for city commission is facing some serious accusations. At least two women, including one current commissioner, claim that they were sexually harassed. Here's CBS 4 Silva Harpetion. At City Hall, heated supporters of Rafael Velasquez running for Miami Beach Commissioner, calling Commissioner Kristen Rosen Gonzalez a liar after she accused him of being sexually inappropriate. Up until last week, Rosen Gonzalez and Velasquez had a mentor mentee relationship. I'd raised money for him. I've had my sign in front of his house. I went to the Democratic Party and got them to uh, support him. I went to the unions and I advocated for him. This is very embarrassing for me. I invested a lot of political capital in, in him. Rosen Gonzalez says a few weeks ago, Velasquez knocking on doors, campaigning in her neighborhood, stopped by her home. They drove to grab a bite. She had two glasses of wine. He had two mojitos. She claims Velasquez became aggressive. And inappropriate. I was driving the car. He, you know, took out his penis, okay, and he was trying to pull my hand off the steering wheel and make me touch it and say, I know you want this. I know you want this. Do you regret getting in a car with him? Should I have to regret getting in a car with a man? The only problem here is that I'm not the one in power. I'm not the the, the one that's elected official that's taking care advantage of an intern or is taking advantage of, of a candidate, you know. I'm not the strong oh, she is. I mean she's a mentor of mine. Right? I mean, I'm looking up to her. Velasquez, who's her married guys, with children, you know, denies any wrongdoing and calls people. it dirty yeah, Miami well, Beach I mean, politics, I answering voters', voters questions. Kristen Rosen Gonzalez is lying. That's is right. that what you're saying? That's right. The accusations don't stop there. Another woman has come forward claiming Velasquez groped her while taking a photo. She shared some of their text messages following the incident with our reporting partners, the Miami Herald. He doesn't deny the text messages, saying he was complimenting her, but does deny ever touching her. Is it possible that maybe what seemed like a compliment to you and lighthearted sort of flirtation mm -hmm. was, right. was taken was taken seriously and and and, uh, and offensively yeah. to someone else? And maybe it's possible, and I apologize. I mean, if, if it did, I really deeply apologize for that because I didn't mean to offend anybody. The question is, will the voters believe him? And the truth is on my side, and I will, I will not surrender to that. Okay. The truth will out. That's right. Silva Harapetion, CBS4 News Tonight.